Hey there, so I actually just learned about this really cool feature in N8N that allows us to be able to take a workflow like this one. And if you're like, man, I really wish this thing or this part of it was a sub workflow, instead of you know going in and you know copying it, you know copy and then you know creating a new workflow and I'll come on over here, waiting for it to load, pasting it in, and then all of that. And then oh, I, I got to add in my my, when execute, you know, when execute by another workflow node, bring it over here. All right, just like that. And but no, okay, now I gotta put fields in and all that. Okay, this is like the old way, right? This is kind of the pain in the butt way. There's actually an easier way. And I actually just discovered this completely by accident last night. I was building a workflow and my mouse like accidentally right clicked. And I'm like, oops, I accidentally right clicked. And like, I very, very briefly looked at this and I'm like, wait, wait, what, what did I just see here? So if we come over here, we, we grab all of this here. We right click it down here. It says convert seven nodes to workflow. I'm like, okay, what happens if I do that? And I click it, we'll name it. We'll just call it, you know, test uh, sub uh, workflow, just a quick name. And what it's going to do is all of those, this nodes just became a, an, an execute workflow node here. And I got a thing down here. We'll open this in a new tab and boom, there they are. It's all there. I've got my, my trigger already set up with the inputs that it's expecting. It's already set up already. And you know, here we got my, uh, my system prompts are already in here. It just, it transferred everything over absolutely perfectly. And so now I was able to make a sub workflow out of my workflow right quick without really any effort. And man, I wish I had known this earlier because this is really cool. This will really be able to help you speed up the development of bigger and bigger workflows because now you can build it all in one workflow. And then, well, yeah, it really shouldn't be part of the same workflow. Boom, you just copy it, right click, turn it into a sub workflow. Now it's usable in the one that you were building out, but it's also a tool that can be called by any other workflow that you have. So super cool feature to be able to make sub workflows on the fly, make them quick, and make them hooked up properly from the very beginning. And if you think this is gonna be helpful for you, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video, it really does help. Looking to take your AI development further with more tutorials and free N8N workflows? Simply click the link in the description below to go to our free school community where you can find many more AI and N8N tutorials as well as all of our starter workflows that will allow you to start building AI tools directly into your business. And if you're serious about building AI automation tools into your business using N8N, be sure to check out our advanced community where we give new tools each week that will actually make a difference in your business. This is where we keep all of our exclusive tools and resources for committed business owners looking to ride this AI wave. In addition, you'll get direct access to me to help you through your setup and tech issues, our business building course library, and so much more. And as always, I'm Bradford Carlton. Let's automate your success together.